Hello, today I'm in front of a Bell and Work factory. This is actually a Bell uh, foundry that was built in 1932 and they've been one of the leaders in Portugal of, uh, for making bells and clocks that operate with these kind of big bells in churches. So we're going to have a look around, we're going to do some recordings and we're going to do, this time, two patches, so two videos. So, let's check this out. This is a family of family. So, my father, my grandfather, Henrique da Silva Geran, was the first founder of the Cinema family. He worked in factories in Porto. He immigrated to Brazil. When he Brazil, he went to Alfena, near the Brazil, Monto, in Alfena, perto de Mesina, the first factory with his father. E depois, em 1932, o meu avô, o filho dele, o mais velho, vem para Braga tomar conta desta empresa. A Fundação de Sinos de Braga não era da Serafina Silva Gerano, era de José Gonçalves Coutinho, que era outro fundidor, que estava à frente da empresa, mas como a empresa não estava bem, compraram-a. E então ficou aqui o meu avô, Serafina Silva Gerano, em Braga, e o meu bisavô, Henrique Gerano, em Irmesina, durante 22 anos. Mantiveram as duas empresas, então o meu bisavô faleceu e a empresa manteve-se em Braga a partir de, desde aí, bom, 32 foi quando começou e completámos 90 anos para o ano aqui, então vem o meu pai, vem o meu tio, vem os nós dele e agora estamos nós. Portanto, um sino tem cinco harmónicos, portanto, tínhamos em cinco frequências. Falando para o grande público, quando nós olhamos para a luz solar, a luz solar é a soma de várias frequências, tanto é quando está a chover, aparece o arco-íris, que faz a difração da luz e que transforma a cor branca nas diferentes componentes. O som no sino também é uma soma de vários, várias frequências. Quando falávamos do Lá, Lá Central, o Lá que tem 440 Hz, a fundamental é o 440, mas temos uma oitava grave, que é chamada o Menote, que é a oitava grave que são 220, depois temos a nominal, que é a oitava alta, que são 880. E entre a fundamental e a nominal, entre os 440 e os 880, temos uma terceira menor e uma quinta. E esses cinco parciais têm que ser afinados em cada cima. Okay, now we're back in studio. We've recorded the tuning of the bells and we edited two samples to use on frames. One was uh, the C bell tuning and the other was a tuning of an F bell. So let's hear the samples now. Okay, so like you heard, the first one was a bell that was being tuned to the note F and the second one was a bell that was being tuned to the note C. So, like we normally do and basically because of the way FM mo uh, works, we're going to be doing the um, construction of the sound from the layer, layer fourth to the first one. But actually, we're going to do the first, the fourth, and the second one, which are the ones that are going to have granulators. And the third and the first one will be oscillators. So let's start with the fourth. And the first thing I'm going to do is load up our sample, which will be the... C bell tuning and this one yep so we got our C bell tuning and 
the first thing that we're going to do is actually go to the pen because we want to put a little bit of stereo moving on the sound and let's we're going to put the C belt to one side and the F belt to the other. So let's put let's pen this one to 67 right like this 67 and then let's drop the level to 797 Okay, and now drop the cutoff to eight six zero, so we take a little uh, to nine zero three, so we take a little bit of the harshness on high frequencies, like this nine zero three. Drop one octave, and now let's change the random color. This random color controls how high the randomness of the numbers being that we're being used to modulate the other parameters go. And let's put it at 200 and put the window at about 965. Yeah, it should be okay. Okay. Now let's change the size to 73. And the offset uh, randomness to 63. Okay, now the size randomness to 70. This will give it a little bit more movement instead of playing always the same place. Density of 280 and a randomness of uh, density of 93. Okay, now let's change a little bit of the randomness on the tuning. This is just slightly to give it a little bit of more richness of harmonics. Just a tiny bit. And let's raise the stereo spread to 667. Okay. Now let's go to the first, let's go to the modifiers and prepare these LFOs to be of use for us. And the first LFO, we want it with a rate of 50. Okay, so we just have to go to the offset and put it at maximum. On the third LFO, let's use a, um, a sample and hold and change the rate to 100, it's there. And on the fourth layer, we want a rate of 83, sample and hold filter does it again with a rate of 83 and an offset of maximum. So now we go to the matrix here and we want the fourth LFO to change the offset to 840 and you will see what will happen to the waveform. Okay, so we got our... First sound, but now let's go to the... Let's make here an oscillator and play it so we can guarantee that this is in tune. As you can see, it's slightly lower, so we go to the fine tune of the layer 4 and let's tune it. To 4, 3, 3. And as you can see, it's now tuned with the oscillator, so we're fine to go. So let's go to the layer two now. And let's load up our F bell tuning. Okay. I'm gonna turn off the fourth layer for now so we can hear what we are doing. And the oscillator as well. Okay. And now let's pan this one like we did. Uh, we The other was 67 right, this will be 67 left. So we have this nice stereo going on. Uh, let's put the level at 857. Cut off, drop it to 860. Take a little bit of the harshness there. Drop an octave. Let's change the course to minus five. 
so they're both in tune and now 127 to tune it as you can see with that course i change an f to a c basically and now let's put the window like we did the other one before put it at 965 and let's put the random color at 160. 160 offset of okay so offset randomness at 97 then size of 73 size randomness of 90 oops 73 here now density of 3 to 3 and the randomness of 120 and then let's go to the stereo spread and make it 407 Now let's go to global, turn the FM mode on. And this layer will have the fourth is modulating the third, the third is modulating the second, the second is modulating the first one. This is how this algorithm of FM works. So we're gonna put for now, we're gonna leave it at 073, although you can't hear it. And let's go to our modifiers. Modifiers are matrix and modulate this offset with the LFO1 to 972 and like this. Now you can see what is happening with the matrix. Okay. Now let's go to the third layer and first oscillator. Turn off this one and go to the third, turn it on and change it to a saw let's pan it 55 right to do the same thing give it a little bit of stereo with the first one i'm going to put the first one on the left and now we want a level of 150 but first let's put the gain at maximum drop the level to zero and raise it to 150. okay now cut off at 460 and two octaves down. Now fine tune it to minus 120 and an FM of 67. Finally, we go to the matrix LFO3 and we're gonna do an FM modulation of 296. But for you to listen what's happening here, I'm going to turn off this, uh, this uh, oscillator now. And I'm going to change the FM to 296. And you can hear the FM modulating the sample now. Okay? I'm going to turn them off for now and let's go to the first layer. And on the first layer, what we're going to do is change to oscillator, change it to a saw, pan this one to 55 left, gain at maximum like before, drop the level to zero and raise it to 143. Okay, drop the cutoff to 403. Um, drop to octaves, fine tune to 53 up, the other one was minus, okay, and finally reverb, give it 197 of reverb. 
gonna go to global now and give it a little bit high pass filter on the reverb 140 so that there isn't that much buildup on the um, there isn't that much buildup on the on the basis of the sound actually on the reverb so continuing let's go now to the envelopes and the envelope one this is an envelope that we're going to use on envelope generator one for layer one and three and what we're going to do is raise the attack to 103 and the curve will be 463 like this as you can see we're taking a little bit of the of the attack of the sound that's the idea sustain at maximum and let's do the same to layer 3 so 103 on the attack let's turn it on as well this layer envelope 103 and a curve of 463 Okay, sustain at maximum. Now for the second envelope generator, what we're going to do also on layer one and three, what we're going to do is 100, 500, DK 500, 500. I think everything is default values actually. Yeah, it's actually default values. So now on envelope generator two, but for uh, the attack of envelope generator 2 on layer 4 we're gonna put it at 0 like this and now let's turn all the layers on So this was it guys, this was the sound that we made from the tuning of the bells uh, from two different, different bells, one was the C tuned bell and the other one was the F bell. But remember that this is only uh, the first part of a two part episode. On this one we made a sound using the, the noises they were making while they were tuning the bells. On the second episode we're going to make a sound uh, using sounds from the clock that normally controls the carillon, uh, which is basically the group of bells that are being put on a church, and that clock is the one that controls it, and it has a mechanical engine that has some quite the nice sounds that we're going to use to create the patch for next week. So remember to check that out. For now, I will say goodbye and tell you that if you like our content, Give us a like and subscribe to our channel because that's really, really important to us. So goodbye, guys, and see you next week.